Assalamualaikum gang Okay, today I can fulfill request you guys Yang comment comment on my video But before that, congratulations to these 7 fellas Please PM me to claim your cheat light voucher I appreciate your effort to make the video It's not easy man Kena buat content Terus buat berapa juta kali recording tau Lepas tu nak edit-edit lagi Pat-pat merapu tu kan So thank you guys, you rock Yang lain tu boleh check out their video on Instagram I will ask them to change the setting to public So you guys can watch it ya yeah? Okay, kita kita start dengan komen by Alia The part takut hantu and tolong-tolong saya part seems like an interesting method nanti doktor tolong ajar kami boleh ok boleh alright now uh, dulu I belajar in bahasa Malaysia uh, so cikgu tuition I ajar nama dia cikgu Ainan dekat kampung Melayu Suwang he taught me this ok so per se you have uh, angle theta here ok so um, you akan ada hypotenuse here and then you ada uh, I, macam I, I dulu I belajar bahasa Melayu so yang ni I sebut uh, T lah tentang tentang ok or uh, if you learn it in English you can uh, regard this as O lah kan, opposite. Okay. Yang ni S. Sebelahan. So, if you want to find uh, sin theta. So, this would be T over H. Betul? So, yang ni is. Saya takut hantu. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I would remember this. Untuk cos. Dia akan jadi kawan. Saya hantu. Okay. For tangent pula. I can ingat. Tolong. Tolong. Saya. Ha, so, saya takut hantu. Kawan saya hantu. Tolong. Tolong saya. Ha, okay. So, that's how I remember the sign cos tangent saja. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay. Next. Uh, we have Ainu and Nurul. Uh, nak rational index and indices. Eh? Okay. So, kita buat ni. Eh? Uh, I have uh, root, root 3 of. 8 uh, times x power 7, y power 8. Okay. This one would be equals to root 3 of uh, 2. 8 ni you can uh, put it as 2 power 3. Uh, x, 7, x 7 would be 8 power 3 times 8 power uh, 3 lagi times 8 power 1. Okay. And then y ni would be y power 3, y power um, 3 and y power 2. Betul? Okay, so uh, this one, you are going to the root 3 of, um, yang tinggal apa? Uh, X power 1, Y power 2, saja betul? Okay. Okay, and then uh, 2 power 3, you are going to put uh, 2 power 1, uh, X power 2, and then Y power 2. Okay. Right, so you can rewrite this nak cantik sikit you, you get uh, 2x squared y squared uh, root 3 of x y squared okay so this is the simplest form okay all right or you can uh, solve this using um, rational index okay so yang ni basically you will rewrite this as 8 x power 7 y power h this is power 1 over 3 okay so um, here you darab je kan so you're gonna get um, uh, 2 power 3 um, Okay, 2 power 3 X7 Y8 Power of 1 over 3 Okay, so yang ni you akan dapat uh, 2 power 1 uh, X power uh, You boleh split them up You boleh dapat 8 power 6 over 3 Times 8 power 1 Yang ni you boleh split them up Jadi 6 over 3 Times Y power 2 over 3 Okay, so yang ni you akan dapat uh, 2 X uh, squared, y squared Eh, yang ni 1 over 3 lah Okay, so and then you are going to put X, uh, 1 over 3 Y, 2 over 3, okay So, um, nanti your answer Will be 2 X squared uh, Y squared, okay So, cube root of X, Y squared Okay, so whichever lah, you suka guna The set, ataupun you guna um, Index, you can sama lah jawapan Okay, alright uh, Probably we can do another question Okay, so per se We have uh, yeah, 3 uh, Cube root of 54 Over 2 uh, Root 4 of 162, okay, so how do you simplify This Okay, so uh, 54, you can make it as 3 power 3 kan? 3 power, uh, 27, 27 times 2. 27 tu, you boleh jadikan dia 3 power 3, okay? So, um, cube root 3, 27 times 2. And then, 162 ni, you boleh jadikan dia uh, root 4 of 81 times 2, okay? Ini ada 2 kat sini, alright? So, this one would be equals to 3, uh, 3 power 3 times 2, cube uh, root, uh, yang ni... 2 times uh, root 4 of 3 power 4 times 2. Okay. So, yang ni you akan dapat um, uh, 3 times 3 uh, cube root of 2. Okay. Over 
2 times uh, yang ni would be 3 times uh, root 4 of 2 ok alright uh, boleh simplify lagi tak uh, so yang ni you simplify you get uh, 3 um, cube root of 2 over root 4 of 2 ok so tapi yang ni uh, you kena rationalize kan the form so you nak kena darab berapa you kena darab uh, root 4 of 2 ok tapi you kena 2 power 3 lah ok sebab nanti you tak akan dapat uh, 2 eh sekejap ni ada 2 kat bawah ni ok alright so yang ni darab eh ok so uh, on the numerator pun you kena uh, apa yang ni uh, 4 root of 2 power 3 ok so nanti you akan dapat uh, bawah ni is 2 times 2 ok sebab you ada root 4 uh, 2 power 1 darab 2 power 4 you akan dapat 2 power 4 root of 4 so you akan dapat 2 yang numerator ni you akan dapat 3 uh, root 3 of 2 root 4 of uh, 2 power 3 ok so that's your answer ataupun you can you can solve this using uh, index eh? so tadi kita ada berapa? 3 uh, cube root of 54 over 2 uh, root 4 of 162 kan ok so you can rewrite this as um, 3 times 27 times 2 power of 1 over 3 over 2 um, 162 is 81 times 2 power 1 over 4 ok so yang ni you can rewrite as 3 times uh, 3 power 3 times 2 1 over 2 over 2 uh, 81 is uh, 3 power 4 times 2 power of 1 over 4 a yang ni 3 ok so yang ni you gonna get uh, 3 times yang ni 3 over 3 jadi 3 power 1 times 2 power 1 over 3 divided by um, 2 times uh, 3 power 4 over 4 is 3 power 1 uh, times 2 power 1 over 4. Okay so yang ni you boleh simplify you gonna get uh, 3 um, times 2 power 1 over 3 over 2 times 2 power 1 over 4. So uh, you, you tahu that uh, 2 power 1 over 4 is set. Okay, so you can rationalize kan the form. So you can darab berapa? Uh, you can darab 2 power uh, 3 over 4 lah kan. So that nanti on your denominator you akan dapat uh, 2 power 4 over 4. Okay, so there's no set um, anymore in on your denominator. So uh, numerator pun you can darab uh, 2 power 3 over 4. So yang ni you will get uh on the denominator 2 times 2 which is uh 4 on the numerator you can dapat 3 power uh 2 uh, 1 over 3 uh 2 power 3 over 4 so you can put it um this way as well 3 uh, root 3 of 2 uh root 4 of 2 okay so last one kita ada hips rig bts yao ha okay so dia dia punya dia, dia tanya uh, okay so the comment was not complex number okay mean ni i bagi soalan bucu terus lah eh okay <laughs> alright so for instance uh, kita ada coordinate um, p uh, negative 9 and negative 5 okay this is in Cartesian you can write it as z equals to negative 9 minus 5i betul okay so uh, change uh, this form Cartesian form to a polar form so how do you do that okay so for polar form okay so kita ada r uh, cos theta plus i sin theta okay so to get a polar form you need to find two things which is r and also theta okay so to get r that is just uh, 9 squared plus 5 squared i didn't put negative because i know when you square it you're gonna get positive and then uh, square root of everything you're gonna get 106 okay and then what about your theta okay so you know that your um angle should be somewhere on the uh, third quadrant kan sebab you ada negative 9 here okay uh, and then here you have a negative 5 okay so your angle should be somewhere here you eh, know your angle should be uh, your theta would be um, going uh, clockwise so you akan ada theta ni is a negative value and then uh, the the other angle ni is just a reference angle alpha okay so to get alpha that is just a tangent inverse of 5 over 9 okay uh, that would be around uh, 29.1 uh, degree so your theta uh, will be a negative value again but that would be 180 minus the alpha okay so you will get negative of 150.9 degree okay so your polar form is R, uh, R3, uh, okay, square root of 106, uh, cos theta, uh, 
cos of negative uh, 150.9 uh, plus I sine negative 150.9. Okay. Right. Ataupun you can rewrite this as um, 106 uh, cos 150.9 degree. Okay. In degree. Uh, minus I sine 150.9 degree. Okay. So because you can rewrite this uh, using the identity cos negative theta equals to cos theta. Here is sine negative theta equals to sine theta. Okay, so that's how you do it. Okay, uh, let's do another example. Okay, so per se we have a polar form of H uh, cos 153 degree minus I sine um, 153 degree. Okay, so you you want to change the polar form to a uh, Cartesian form. Okay, so uh, you can rewrite this as H uh, cos of negative 153 uh, plus I uh, sine negative 153. Okay, so you know that your angle is going uh, clockwise. Okay, the dia, dia bawah, eh? dia pusing. And then it is uh, 153, so that's uh, beyond 90, negative 90 degree. So it should be in the third quadrant. Okay, so um, it means that uh, this is a uh, third quadrant, and below you are the third quadrant, your real, uh, which is your A, should be negative, your imaginary, which is B, will be also negative. All right, so to get the Cartesian form, can uh, you done up here? Can um, your cos uh, negative 153 will be equals to uh, eh, tak, okay lah. so your A will be 8 times uh, cos negative uh, 153 you are going to put 8 times uh, negative 0 0.8910 okay and then uh, in A you are going to get negative 7.13 your B will be 8 times sine negative 153 okay so that will be 8 times um sin negative 15 when you, you punch in your calculator you're going to get negative 0 0.4539 okay so your answer would be negative 0 0.363 something like that okay all right so your uh, Cartesian form will be negative 7.13 uh, minus 0 0.363 i okay so that's how you do it all right i think that is all for today um okay <laughs> okay so i uh, <laughs> okay Alright, so thank you guys for listening to my uh, videos yang kadang boring uh, and kadang terkejut and kadang you rasa macam eh, apa benda dia ni cakap kan uh, Ya Allah merepeknya dia ni okay. So I'll see you um, in campus insyaAllah okay. So thank you and see you when I see you Bye-bye